Hi everyone, this is Doc Simple and I'm Doc Leo. I'm Doc Ben. Today's episode will be influenza or the flu. We'd like to start off talking about influenza with what we think is one of the most important concepts, which is to get your flu vaccine. Yeah, the CDC recommends as well as us, equal equal parties, yeah, yes. <laughs> uh, recommends the flu vaccine. We think it's critical to try to diminish the severity of illness. Right, it also decreases the duration and most importantly, decreases the spread. It is an epidemic and we'd like to prevent it from getting worse every year. You got it. Okay, let's talk about symptoms of the flu. All right, the symptoms of the flu can include things that may seem like the cold. In fact, they're very similar, things like Fever, these tend to be high fevers getting up to 104, 105 degrees. You can have severe body aches and joint pains. These can be quite intense and people uh, really suffer with those. They do suffer. Um, we have, you, know, you can have sore throat, congestion, cough, runny nose. You can, have, uh, you can even have some vomiting and some diarrhea. That's right. Any, any uh, additional comments on, on symptoms? Yeah, I think what we tend to see the most in the emergency room as far as symptoms are concerned are people coming in feeling like, like, like they've been run over by a truck. They feel like they can't get out of bed. They're just so exhausted and, uh, and feel like their joint pains and their body aches are so intense. Right. Treatment for influenza. All right. Well, let's first talk about some of the over-the-counter and typical treatment that we would recommend. Right. So the good news is most of the symptoms can be controlled with simple over-the-counter medications, like Leo said, acetaminophen, ibuprofen for fever and body aches, decongestants for congestion. Uh, isolation is important. Now, that doesn't mean locking yourself in a bathroom, but the uh, less you are around others, the less you breathe, sneeze, cough on others, the lower the chance that you'll spread the illness. So it's helpful. Yeah, and that's pretty critical because of some of the populations that are at risk right. um, that we want to talk about. And those populations include the very young, so less than two years old, the older, over the age of 65, and then those with immune system compromise. So that would be chemotherapy, patients with poorly controlled diabetes, advanced illnesses like uh, COPD, CHF, kidney failure. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Um, also, the, a special group would be pregnant women, um, and that population does require a treatment with antiviral medication. Now, this is important because unlike some other things we've talked about in, our, in, other, in other episodes, this is not a bacterial infection, this is a viral infection, and so you would need to treat it not with antibiotics, but with some antiviral medications, and there's a... Um, those are reserved for these special populations that we're describing. All right, so let's move into expectations or prognosis. Basically, how long should you expect to feel crummy? And it can range from being a couple of days to being a couple of weeks. You know, yeah. This is a stubborn problem. You just have to do your best to keep, uh, keep yourself hydrated and well rested. It will go away. Now, if you can't do those things, if you can't keep yourself hydrated because of your vomiting, diarrhea, or if you just can't get out of bed and it's that bad, then what would you do? Well, thanks for the transition, Leo. Now we're going to talk about who to call, where to go. I think we break it down into two major categories. One is the treat at home, and the other one is seek professional help. The folks that uh, can be treated at home, how would you describe that population, Ben? I'd say those are the people who don't feel well, but can basically keep the fluids down. They can bathe themselves. They can feed themselves. They can generally function okay. All right. And, and if you can't do those things, if you cannot hydrate yourself, if you feel like you can't, um, you know, you're vomiting too much, your fever's so high, you, you know, you can't get out of bed and do some of the basic daily functions, then you likely require some professional help with either your doctor or by coming into the emergency room. Um, anything else you'd like to add, Ben? I don't think so. I think we've hopefully made people feel more comfortable with this very uh, annoying illness. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching Doc Simple. I'm Doc Leo. I'm Doc Ben. Please like us and share us.